Hi, we've been talking about packs a lot in these early videos and so today I want to show you the pack system in action. So when you go to launch the pack system you'll want to look for this icon right here, the AGFA icon. Double left click, skip over that and it will bring you to this pop-up that has the different desktops on it. So the first desktop is the diagnostic desktop that's meant for radiologists people who read the images. Acquisition is meant for the technologist and it's the best one for just looking at images. The medical secretary desktop is for people who work at the front desk or the file room that want to input information into the system. The administrator desktop is for PATS admins who want to make changes to the configuration of the system the way it works. Clinician desktop is for ER, OR physicians who need access to the full PACS client and the zero viewer is for people who want to do web-based viewing of images. So we're going to go to the acquisition desktop and I'm going to put in a generic login. Sam, password is S, and that will get us into the PAC system. So what I'm showing you here is how the PAC system works and this is important because I'm teaching you what you will need to know for the first activity we do on lab day. When you come November 29th for lab the first thing we're going to do is view images and packs and this is exactly what you're going to do on that day you're going to double click on packs you're going to log in with Sam the generic account and you're going to play around in there and get familiar with the three major tools that all pack systems use which are window level zoom and pan so click past that and then the packs will launch it comes to this task screen we don't want to do anything with the task screen we want to go to search so we're going to come up here look at the magnifying glass and click search and that will open the search window i'm going to look for james kirk so in the last name field that's the last name field i'll type in kirk come over here and click search and there are james kirk's exams so I'm interested in his back, so I'm going to highlight this row that has his lumbar spine. And I'm going to come up here, I'm going to click on images. And that will launch me into the images of his lumbar spine. Now, <clears throat> this is in a four-up layout. So this is viewport 1, viewport 2, viewport 3, viewport 4. That's four up. Four, that's kind of small. I want to look at the images a little bigger. So I'm going to double click on this one and that will get me a viewport that is one up. So now I've just got one image up in the viewport. This is the thumbnail or series navigator window and you can see that anything that I've looked at has a full green bar and a check and that lets me know that I've looked at those images. Things that don't have that they are I haven't looked at them yet so that, that lets me know if I double click on this it goes back to the four up window click double click it again it goes one up to get these over I just left click drag and drop and there's the lateral view and you can see that once I've moved it over it gets the full green bar and the check mark lets me know that I have looked at them so if you're looking at the study you want to look at all the images you don't want to miss anything that way so it just is a nice easy visual reminder that hey you've looked at these images so I'm going to bring the AP view up again and we're going to talk about those three major tools so the three major tools are window level window level corresponds to what you would think of as brightness and contrast it's the most important tool and there's two ways you can do it I can right click hold down my right mouse button and move my mouse in a circle and you can see that I can change the brightness and contrast or what we actually call window and level and I can do that until I have the image in sort of an optimal viewing pattern right so whatever my eyes see however I need it for my particular eyes for my particular lighting for my particular monitor I can change the brightness and contrast so that I can view those images perfectly right? I can make them sharper blurrier whatever I need to do so that's window level next is zoom if I click this magnifying glass just single left click come down you'll see that the magnifying glass is now attached to my pointer 
I click on the image, hold, move my left, hold my left mouse button down, move my mouse up and down vertically, and I can zoom the image. Now I've zoomed the right marker off the screen, but I want to pan over to that, so I'm going to come up here and click the pan tool, which is a hand. Come down, you see that the pointer now has the hand attached to it, and I can pan that over, and now I can bring that marker into view, and just for fun, let's see if I can really zoom it. Yes. So that is window level, zoom, and pan, the three most important tools. Let me zoom this down a little bit. And for those of you that don't know, that is a lead marker. It's made of lead. The R lets me know that this is the right side of the body. The E and the S is the technologist's initials. So I don't know who ES is. It could be Elliot Sadler or Emma Smith, but I know that this is the right side of the body, and this was done by technologist ES. And that's important because I you couldn't without the marker, I couldn't tell right from left. I wouldn't know if this was done with the patient laying face down or on their back. So that tells me this is the right side of the body. This is the left side of the body. Very important to know, for example, I know that this shape here is the left kidney, and this shape here is the right kidney because I know what side of the body is right and left now. Another way you can do window level is to click on this starburst icon, and that attaches the starburst icon tool to the pointer and if I left click and hold again I can do window level so you can always do that right click and hold you can also use the tool from the toolbar so you have zoom pan window level there are other tools we're not going to talk about we're just going to stick with the big three there so that is how you do window level pan and zoom that's how you get into packs that's how you search for studies and patients and go back to search and let's look at McCoy so I'm gonna type McCoy I'm gonna come over here and click search and here is Leonard McCoy and all of the studies he's had I'm gonna look at his chest x-ray so I highlight that row I click on images I don't want to save what I did on the previous patient so I'm gonna say no to that I'm gonna double click this chest x-ray and there is Leonard McCoy's chest x-ray. and I can take a look at it. Maybe I want to window level it. I'm just going to do right click, make it a little more gray, sort of bring out the bones. Now you can see the ribs really good, but it's kind of hard to see the lungs. So this will give me bony detail on the ribs. I can see these ribs really well, but the lungs look junky, cruddy. Those are industry terms. And then Hopefully I can window level it back to a way that I can minimize the look of the ribs and hopefully you see the ribs have begun to fade. And now I can really focus on the dark area here, which is the lungs. The lungs are over here. This is the trachea. That's the bronchi. So that will be an example of why you might want. I look forward to watching you guys do this in the lab. And thank you for watching.